Hello, in this video we're going to derive the income consumption curve. This shows the utility maximizing consumption bundle at each income level holding prices fixed. So example one, we have a utility function and the consumer's budget constraint, M is income, P subscript X is the price of good X, P subscript Y is the price of good Y, and X and Y represent units of good Y and good X. So we're going to get the marginal utility of good X first. So taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X, we get back Y squared. And the marginal utility of good Y, we're going to bring down this 2 in front from the exponent on Y, and we'll be left with 2XY. Forming the marginal rate of substitution, which is the marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y, making our substitutions into that formula, we have the following. And when a consumer is maximizing utility, the marginal rate of substitution equals the ratio of the prices, the price of good X to the price of good Y. Just moving over here, what is the marginal rate of substitution? Y divided by 2X. Just simplifying this. Uh, got two Y's in the numerator and one Y in the denominator, so we're just left with this. And like I said, uh, when we're maximizing utility, the marginal rate of substitution will equal the ratio of the price of good X to the price of good Y. So the marginal rate of substitution equaling the ratio of the prices. Let's solve for Y. Multiplying both sides through by 2 times X. This here is the income consumption curve. We'll go ahead and graph it. So here's our income consumption curve. And like I said in the definition, we're holding prices fixed. So I'm just going to make up some values here. Let's say the price of good X is 50 cents and the price of good Y is $1. Making those substitutions into the above formula, it'll simplify down to Y equals X. So here's a graph of Y equals X. It's just a ray from the origin here with a slope of 1. And like I said, uh, the utility maximizing consumption bundles will fall along this this income consumption curve depending on the level of income. So, you know, one possibility here is 5 and 5, another possibility is 10 and 10, and so on. At this uh, consumption bundle 5 and 5, the consumer is spending uh, um, 50 cents on five units of good X. So the consumer is spending $2.50 on units of good X. And the consumer is buying five units of Y at $1 a piece. So the consumer is spending $5 on good Y and $2.50 on good X. So together uh, at this consumption bundle here, the consumer has an income of $7.50. And we can back into the income at this level and so on. All right, let's do some more examples. Example two. A uh, slightly different u looking utility function here, uh, different exponents at least. And we're going to just do the same thing, get the marginal utility of good X, get the marginal utility of good Y from those uh, respective partial derivatives. Let's form the marginal rate of substitution. And the point phi's will cancel. And then just following the rules of exponents, this will simplify down nicely to y divided by x. Setting that y divided by x equal to the ratio of the prices and solving for y, we have another income consumption curve. All right, let's do our final example, example three. Uh, got this looking, this uh, different looking utility function here. I'm uh, going to have this uh, consumer's income over here. And I'm going to do this as a Lagrangian setup. Uh, so we're going to set up the Lagrangian here to maximize the utility subject to the constraint. Getting a few partial derivatives here. Taking the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x, we get back this result. Setting it equal to zero. Taking the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to good y, we get this result. And then one more partial derivative, partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to lambda. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this result right here from this first partial derivative, and I'm going to solve it for lambda. So just moving this minus lambda times the price of px over to the other side, we get this result. 
So then just dividing through the, by the price of good x, we get this result for lambda. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second partial derivative. I'm going to solve the second partial derivative for lambda. So moving this lambda times the price of good y over to the other side and solving for lambda, we get this result. Let's set lambda equal to lambda. Get rid of those lambdas. So we have this result. And we're going to solve for y. Multiplying 3 by the price of good x. And then subtracting 1 from both sides, we have our income consumption curve given this utility function. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.